This year is already flying by, and here we are with the sixth release of Home Assistant. Get ready to be blown away because this release brings a wave of exciting new features and improvements that will take your Home Assistant experience to new heights. First, let's talk about a long-awaited feature that has been on everyone's wish list, the introduction of network storage in Home Assistant. This is a game changer. Now, you can easily configure a network share within Home Assistant, opening up a world of possibilities. Use it to store and play back your own media from various sources like NAS, or even as a storage location for media generated by Home Assistant itself, such as with Frigate. And that's not all. You can also use network storage as a backup location for your Home Assistant backups, providing a reliable alternative to storing backups directly on your instance. Setting up network storage is a breeze. Just head to the storage menu under the system where you can set up NFS, SMB, or SIFS shares. You can create multiple shares for different purposes and even select them as the default backup location. This feature completes the puzzle of native backup automation, eliminating the need for community add-ons. It's a cause for celebration, no doubt. But wait, there's more. Let's dive into the UI changes introduced in this release. The integrations page has undergone a fantastic makeover. It's still in the same spot, but now it offers a sleek, consistent, and polished experience. Gone are the inconsistencies between integrations, with variations depending on the number of devices. With the 2023.6 release, all integrations boast a unified layout and a consistent display of devices. And here's a bonus. It's now easier than ever to identify cloud-dependent or custom integrations. Each integration features a settings button that takes you to a new panel packed with debug information, known issues, documentation options, and configuration settings. This revamp streamlines the integration page, giving you a cleaner and more intuitive interface. Plus, if an integration encounters an error, it will be right there on the page, giving you better visibility and troubleshooting capabilities. Now let's shed some light on the improvements made to the light dialog on your dashboard. Building upon previous releases, the light dialog has gotten even better. You'll find new controls for adjusting colors and temperatures, making it a breeze to set the perfect ambience. And that's not all favorites who have joined the party too. Quickly switch between preset options for colors and temperatures. Moreover, you can easily customize and rearrange these presets by dragging and dropping them. But there's more good news. Entities with the new More Info dialog now display the last change time, which can be clicked to change the format. The related menu within any device space has also received a facelift, transitioning from a messy bullet point list to a structured and consistent layout. These UI updates will make your Home Assistant dashboard a joy to use. Now let's talk about automation creation. Brace yourself because it just got a whole lot easier. The introduction of cut, copy, and paste functionality within the U, I means you can now effortlessly reuse automation components when building new automation. Imagine having an automation with a motion sensor condition that you want to replicate for other rooms. With a simple copy and paste, you can reuse that condition in new automation. And if you need to move an action from one automation to another, just cut and paste it. This addition makes automation creation a breeze, saving you time and effort while boosting your overall efficiency. But the excitement doesn't stop there. The Automation Editor 2 has received a significant upgrade. It now displays only the relevant options for the selected devices, presenting you with a cleaner and more focused user experience. No more clutter, just the options you need right when you need them. Let's not forget about the Z-Wave integration, which has also received notable updates in this release. Although I can't demonstrate them personally, there are several improvements worth mentioning. Enhanced support for window coverings now includes tilt devices as blinds, expanding the possibilities for automating your window treatments. Energy generation devices have also received attention, with improvements that make monitoring and managing them even better. Troubleshooting is now easier thanks to the introduction of node statistics, providing you with valuable insights, and as always, various minor fixes ensure a smoother experience overall. These enhancements take the Z-Wave JS integration to the Platinum level, the highest level of integration available. Performance improvements are another highlight of this release, 
Python 3.11 takes the stage as the default version for Home Assistant, delivering significant speed improvements compared to the previous 3.10 version. But that's not all. The SQLite database has also undergone enhancements, resulting in faster performance for features like history, statistics, logbook, and other database-related functions. These improvements mean your Home Assistant setup will utilize fewer server resources, making everything run smoother and more efficiently. Let's talk about entity types. This release introduces three new entity types, DateTime and DateTime Local. These additions make it easier for integrations to provide dedicated DateTime sensors, eliminating the need for complex templates. Now, integrations can streamline the process and make DateTime sensors more accessible than ever. The possibilities for integrations are expanding, opening up new avenues for creativity and functionality. Moving on to smaller yet noteworthy updates that are part of this release, we have an exciting addition to announce, starting with the Android TV integration. In addition to the remote entity, you now have a media player entity at your disposal. This enhancement brings a whole new level of reliability and versatility when using Android TV with Home Assistant. Whether you're streaming your favorite shows or controlling your media playback, the Android TV integration has got you covered. But that's not all. Mata, our powerful platform for managing your home's devices, has some fantastic news too. It now supports tilt covers, expanding your control over a wider range of devices. With Mata's enhanced capabilities, you can effortlessly adjust and manage your tilt covers, creating the perfect ambiance and controlling the amount of light that enters your space. Speaking of integrations, we have some exciting updates for Roborock, KNX, and Samsung. With the Roborock integration, you'll have access to several new entities that provide enhanced control over your Roborock devices, giving you more flexibility and customization options for your cleaning routines. The KNX integration now features a new diagnostics method, allowing you to upload a project file for easier troubleshooting and gaining valuable insights into your KNX system. This improvement simplifies the process of identifying and resolving issues, ensuring a smooth experience with your KNX devices. And for Samsung users, the integration brings a fantastic addition. This remote entity lets you send keys directly to your TV. Say goodbye to juggling multiple remotes and enjoy the convenience of controlling your Samsung TV effortlessly. These smaller updates may seem incremental, but they play a crucial role in enhancing your overall experience with Home Assistant. We're committed to providing you with a seamless and feature-rich platform that empowers you to take control of your smart home like never before. Stay tuned for more updates and exciting developments as we continue to evolve Home Assistant into the ultimate home automation solution. And guess what? We've got six new integrations in this release. Brace yourself for the Google AI Conversation Agent, which brings voice pipelines to the table. The YouTube integration lets you keep track of your favorite content. At the same time, JVC projector support opens up a whole new world of possibilities for your home theater setup. But that's not all. Three new integrations can now be set up directly through the user interface UI, meaning no more YAML configuration headaches. Setting up your integrations has never been easier. Now let's address the topic of breaking changes. Don't worry, there are no major issues, except for the upgrade to Python 3.11. However, this change only affects users running the Home Assistant Core installation, which represents a small percentage of users according to analytics. If you're running Home Assistant OS, Home Assistant Supervised, or Home Assistant Container, the upgrade to Python 3.11 will be handled automatically, saving you the hassle. Just make sure to keep your custom integrations up to date and compatible with the new Python version to avoid any potential hiccups. So this release is a powerhouse of improvements and new features that will leave you in awe. From the long-awaited network storage to the UI enhancements, new entity types, performance upgrades, and a range of exciting new integrations, there's something for everyone. The addition of network short circuits detection is a standout feature that many users have been eagerly anticipating. And let's not forget the game-changing copy-paste functionality for automation, making automation creation a breeze. The Automation Editor, 
2 Z-Wave integration Python 3.11 speed improvements and entity type additions further contribute to an enhanced Home Assistant experience. It's truly remarkable to witness the continuous growth and refinement of this powerful home automation platform. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you've already subscribed, please leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and I'll personally reply to your comment. Thank you for watching.